Well, that will cook this uh, lemon chicken, uh, lemon pepper chicken here. <laughs> and first thing you gotta do is get chicken out of the wrapper here and get it all cleaned up. Okay, now I've got them all washed up and washed inside out. I've got a little bit of the, uh, I trim a little bit off the bottom and a little bit off the top. And so now I'm going to tie his legs up here so they fit in the basket better. But first, I'm going to take this half a stick of uh, Land of Lakes butter here and put it in the bottom here. Get them all up in there. Hands off. Now I want to see if I can tie his legs up here. Now, just like that. And now, we'll take and put some, uh, move this knife out of the way here. We'll take some of this all purpose chicken seasoning here from Lowry's. A little sprinkle on it. Right, now I'm going to take some of this Tony's uh, lemon pepper here and put it all over them. Now I've got just a little bit over a half a cup of lemon juice I'm going to put in this ninja foodie here. Okay, now I got a cup of this uh, Swanson's chicken broth and we'll put in there. And now I'm going to take the foodie basket and set it down in here. I'll widen this out a little bit. I'm going to take this four to four and a half pound chicken here. Set it right down in that ninja foodie basket there. And now I'm going to take the pressure lid and put it on, make sure the arrows are lined up. Put on, turn it clockwise until it locks. Make sure your seal back here is set to seal and not vent. Right, and then, we're going to turn on the power. I'm going to hit pressure, I'm going to leave it on high, and we're going to set it on 15 minutes. And then we're going to hit the start button. Okay, now if you're familiar with the Ninja Foodie, these little lights, you know, these little lights chase each other around until they, uh, until it builds up pressure and then it'll start cooking. For those of you that's not familiar with the Ninja Foodie, these little lights chase each other around until it builds up pressure and then it starts cooking. <laughs> and it usually takes between 7 and 12 minutes. So, we'll be back. Okay, that's been going around for about 8 minutes, so uh, the button is trying to come up now. And just a second or two it ought to be on up. And there it is, finally sealed up and pressurized and now to start cooking. And now, you people that's new, the, if the lights are still going around, don't think your machine is broke. It just takes it a minute or two after it pressurizes before it starts counting down your 15 minutes. So, in a minute or two, it'll start counting on down there.
And now there it goes. You can see now it actually took about 14 minutes from the time I hit the start button to the time it started counting down. So, and this varies from a little less to a little more. Depends on how much liquid you got in there and all this stuff. So, anyway, now it's counting down and we'll be back and check it in a few minutes. Okay, now this is through and it's been sitting there for about a minute and a half I, or a minute and five seconds. I didn't see it had stopped. So the next thing we got to do is go up here and hit the uh, quick release button. Let's press it off of it so we can get in there and do something else. About three and a half to four minutes for that thing to the red button to drop so now let's look inside oh boy that looks good all right now we're finished with the pressure lid the next thing we need to do got my oil sprayer here I'm gonna spray it down good with olive oil Now, we're going to shut the crisper lid. You have to let the thing recycle when it cuts off like that, when you go from one thing to the other. Now, we're just leaving those juices in the bottom of this thing just to help it add flavor to it. And we're going to turn on the power, go over here and hit air crisp. We'll raise it up to 400 and we'll go put 15 minutes on it. And then we'll hit the start button. And away it goes. We're going to have some chicken to eat here pretty soon, I hope. Well, I'm thinking about if y'all can join my channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure would appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching our video. And by the way, if I didn't mention it, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom. <laughs> so we'll be back in a minute. Okay, now it just comes to the end here. So I'm going to pick this top up. And you know that's got to be done. You see the meat pulling away from the legs there. Uh, so we'll take this thermometer in it. I know you can't say it was over 180. Yeah, rising right on up. 187. Okay, that's done. That's done, done. So now we're going to get it out and see what we can do with it. Okay, now let me see if I can get this thing out of here now. Oh yeah, there it comes. Mm-mm-mm. That looks pretty good right there, doesn't it? Now, let me find my knife here. Cut the string. that. Huh. I'll tell you what, you're going to be able to pull this out by the, just the bone. Look at that. Now, huh, look at that bone. That's, you know that's good and tender right there. And so is that. <laughs> Got to taste this little piece here. Ooh, that's hot. Mmm. Oh, some good chicken right there. I'm going to tell you, all those uh, juices from where that pressure cooked is in there. And you can taste that lemon and the pepper, of course. And that is really good. If you've never tried one of these, you've got to try one just like this. Because you'll love this if you like chicken at all. 
So anyway, that's about it for this uh, little video. And thank you very much for watching again. I hope you watch more of my videos. I hope you come back and see me real soon. Hope to have another one for you real soon. Until then, oh, by the way, if you see anything you like in this video, you probably got a link for it down below. So, y'all have a good and safe day now. I'll see you later. Come back. Goodbye.